Okay, everyone, let's do this. This is part 15 of Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3. Now, with three worlds left, I'd probably say this will be about 26, 25, 27 parts. But, you know, the next world, just heads up, you're gonna... It's got a little bit of different elements to it, but... So once again, you know, my history with this game is pretty much... I mean, I'm just to the point where I know it like the back of my hand. And in a lot of ways, you know, when you find those replayable things, you have to be able to play it more than once. I mean, this is the type stuff, you know, just depending upon the type of friends you have. You have your competitive friends, you have your cooperative friends, and you have your... Uh, com cooperative competitive friends. You know, like, you have your games where you play four player, one on one, one two player, and then one verse two. So that, I mean, there's just so many different ways. This is definitely one of those games. I would consider this more of like a cooperative thing just because it's got so much aptness to it. And this is the kind of Mario I like just because the stuff is timeless. I mean, if you really pay attention to it, this game is rather funny, and it's intended to be just because of the antics of the game. But you just the, the main thing to remember is just to keep your cool. But you know, most people just going through it with the friend. You go out, get some hot wings, get a couple burgers from McDonald's or something. Just do it big, and you will definitely be able to have fun with this game. So, I mean, that's the thing about Mario is, you know, when you, you heard of the Mario Party games, this is always, Mario's always pretty much been a party kind of guy, just because right from the get-go, he was, a, it, there was a two-player mode. I'm almost thinking that Donkey Kong was two players, possibly. I don't know. Um, Maybe it wasn't, but really, you know, just trying to beat Super Mario Brothers. That one was more competitive, but this one, you're both trying to get to Bowser. And that's the thing. But this is Roy Koopa. He's known for his pink, and he's definitely... He's known for his pink and his sunglasses, and so he's, at the time, he was probably one of the slicker Koopalines, but pay attention because he will shock the ground and it will stun you. As you can see, I'm kind of struggling with this, but definitely there's more to it. So I do like the fact that each of the Koopa kids has like their own world that they own. If I had to choose the one that I would probably be, it would probably be the desert. Even though it's the second world you see, I've just always preferred hot weather. I mean, the giant thing, I don't know. The snow world that you're going to see, not so sure. I may not spoil World 7 because that's an interesting one, but that's normally the thing. A lot of people like water. I don't really like deep water. I've never liked whales, you know, the big fish things. I, I've never liked those, and I don't like deep water, so. But, you know, I do like water. I do like beaches and that sort of thing. It just is really, you know, you wonder what land that you would be most proficient in. So, but Mario's become a staple as far as knowing landscapes. That's definitely... So, I did not really beat this boss that easily, but... You know, we definitely <laughs> have got some stuff here. So... But, um, that's it, you know.
know. <laughs> yep, so we're heading on into the next world and just get ready for that. So this is world six. But we've got yeah, so subscribe for more fun.